But if there are alien beings on another planet, what does that do with your biblical interpretation of life? If there are far superior beings that in fact did come here and did manipulate human DNA and did create what we now oh, think of as modern humans, if that becomes fact and you still have to account for how did they, were they created, you still have to account for the code, you still have to account for all these things that you're saying about intelligent design, but right. what does that do for your, your interpretation of the biblical version of history if in fact there are some untold numbers of advanced civilizations. Yeah, again, I'm completely agnostic because the Bible tells us that we were made in the image of God with capacities that reflect those of our Creator. It doesn't tell us that he didn't make other such beings on other planets. C.S. Lewis, right. the great Christian apologist, wrote that wonderful space trilogy in which he speculates about other planets with, with, um, with other forms of life, uh, with other forms of higher conscious life. Yeah. Okay. So I, I don't think there is a biblical doctrine on that. So I'm completely uh, agnostic and open on biblical grounds. And as a scientist, of course, I'm interested. Um, the there there've been there's been two different lines of thinking about that. One that there's so many universes and therefore likely solar systems that it's inevitable that we would have life someplace else. Um, uh, the other uh, strain of thought that's a bit more recent is um, the idea that, yes, there's lots and lots of places where it could happen, but the number of parameters that would have to be, uh, uh, the number of things that would have to be just right and the probability of getting each of those parameters is so small that even that two trillion universe, uh, two tr trillion galaxy universe is not enough to render the probability of getting life somewhere else can I stop you there? Probable, unless there is intelligent design. Okay, yeah. unless there is intelligent right. design. But if it exists here, we have proof that it exists here. Right. We're talking right, right now. Right. You and I are here. We know intelligent life, at least in our yeah. own right. personal experience, exists here. Yeah. Which And the, the universe could be of a size and a scope that we can't even possibly comprehend. We're talking about infinity, and this is this is a it's this is not an uncommon thought about the universe. That the universe is in fact infinite, and that it is so big that not only does this Earth exist, but a version of this Earth where all the events exactly as they they have taken place on Earth mm -hmm. have taken place in space on other planets an infinite number of times because all the because you were talking about something that's so large it's so huge every possible version exists an insane huge number of yous are out there in the world and infinite numbers of yous preventing presenting this exact same discussion or maybe there's an a there's a me arguing for, for, for but what i'm saying is yeah. maybe it's more it's yeah. even more complex yeah than just simple intelligent design, but intelligent design on a scale that's so large that is happening simultaneously in so many places, so so ubiquitous in the universe that it's impossible for us to even quantify. Well, let me let me come back to, at you on this just a little bit. Um, the this is where the idea of the multiverse comes in because it happens that our universe actually has. A, a quantifiable number of elementary particles and the, and uh, a, a limited number of interactions that could take place between the elementary particles and therefore an upper bound number of events that might have taken place from the Big Bang till now. Right. And that's why the multiverse gets proposed because the multiverse proponents realize that what are called the probabilistic u resources of this universe are not actually sufficient to render even the origin of life, and I have argued in Signature in the Cell, even the origin of a single protein, probable, given those probabilistic resources. That's um, if there's not a multiverse. And yeah, it, we, and need if, a, we need a multiverse. And if the theory that yeah. each galaxy, which contains a supermassive black hole, that inside that supermassive black hole, if you could somehow get through the event horizon, you would go to another universe that has hundreds of billions, if not trillions of galaxies as well. And that that this is the that is the portal, and this is the process that they all have. 
that there is just an infinite number of universes. It is possible, right? Right. But as I mentioned before, the plausible accounts that have been to, to render the multiverse concept plausible, one needs a universe generating mechanism. And Which also means something intelligent. It means something, something it means some prior fine tuning. But that could then, be also the case, right? Right. That, I'm, this I'm, universal I, yeah. intelligent thing. Is I'm not against the multiverse. It infinite might be, number yeah. of universes. Uh, it might be true. It might be false. But it's only plausible if there's prior design. That's the argument so that I make in the book. So what you think is that the universe itself has grand design to it and that it, it's ultimately moving towards a goal? I would say that the designer has a goal. What do you think that is? To restore relationship between himself and human beings. But just human beings. What well, about alien or, well, life forms? Or maybe, I mean, again, life I don't, in general, don't know. Uh, maybe, intelligent uh, life in general? Like, what <clears throat> is it? Is it the soul? Like, what, what do we have that's particularly unique? In, in the biblical ontology, um, it is, it is um, the, being made in the image of God means we not only have a mind, but also a soul and a spirit. There's a biblical word for animals, the nefesh, uh, the Hebrew word, and they have a mind of, of a sort. And anyone who's a dog owner knows this. <laughs> There's a lot of smart creatures, but there is something special about us, and we, don't, we all, I think, understand that intuitively. Well, um, we understand it to us. So it, 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 may be, it may be that there are other creatures that have those unique endowments in other, other planetary systems. But not on, uh, not on Earth, not orcas, not dolphins. I think they're, they're super uh, I, intelligent. I, I, I think they're super intelligent animals. Yeah, they can't. Well, they can't manipulate yeah. their environment like we can, yeah. but they do have a cerebral cortex. It's 40 percent larger than a human being's. Yeah, I mean, mere brain capacity is not the whole story, as we right, know from sure. paleoanthropology. We have, uh, so, um, and dumb people with big heads. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 Who do things like boxing and MMA, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah there yeah. you go. <laughs> um, well, that yeah. So, well, anyway, I mean, you're you're, you're I. Uh, I work the other end of the time scale, the cosmology, the origin of life, mm -hmm. the origin of animals. You're asking me about anthropology issues. So well, I'm just I've asking opinion. you no, about I mean, your thoughts on yeah, these yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's so a great complex. Conversation. I have yeah. to imagine that you've considered a yeah, lot of I these things. Yeah, I think about all this stuff, of course. But how, how much have you looked into psychedelics and the origins of religious experiences? Your your driver was telling me about it on the way here. It sounds like you a, haven't looked into that. Other I, than I, that? I, well, I have a I have a I have a former student who had an experience of God. On a uh, a psychedelic. Me you know? too. You know, so I I, I I'm aware of those experiences. You haven't yeah. had them. I have not. Would you it, want to? Um, I'm sort of happy with the experiences of God I've had in the sort of. Uh, Wouldn't you like to actually say hi?